Hello, I am Niveta and this is a video on how to interface 7 segment display to Arduino Uno and program it using pure C that is without the use of predefined functions such as digital read or digital write that people commonly use. So this is the design in Tinkercad. This is the 7 segment display and it can be used to display letters or numbers. There are 7 segments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is a LED for each segment and there is also a decimal point. So in total there are 8 LEDs. There are two types of 7 segment displays, common anode and common cathode. In common anode, the anodes of all the 8 LEDs are shorted and the cathodes are given as individual pins. In common cathode, the cathodes of all the 8 LEDs are shorted and the anodes are given as individual pins. While connecting the common anode display, the common anode should be connected to the supply through a resistor and the cathodes should be connected to individual port pins. So when a port pin is given a state of low, then the LED corresponding to that pin will glow due to potential difference across the ends. When a port pin is given high, then the LED corresponding to that pin will be turned off as there would be no potential difference. While connecting common cathode display, the common cathode should be connected to ground through a resistor and the anodes should be connected to individual port pins. So when a port pin is given a state of high, then the LED corresponding to that particular pin will be turned on. When a port pin is given a state of low, the LED corresponding to that particular pin will be turned off. So here you can see the display and there are two common pins. These two common pins are shorted together. It could either be common anode or common cathode depending on the type of display. And the other 8 pins will be anodes or cathodes of the individual LEDs depending on the type. So first we need to determine if the display is common anode or common cathode. For that, we can either use a multimeter or a supply and a resistor. While using multimeter, it should be kept in continuity range or in resistance range. Then the red lead of the multimeter should be kept in contact with one of the common pins and the black lead should be kept in contact with any of the other pins. If any of the LED glows, then it means that the display is common anode. To check if a display is common cathode, then the black lead should be kept in contact with one of the common pins and the red lead should be kept in contact with any of the other pins. Then if any LED glows, then it means that it is common cathode. So the LED that I have used in this video is common anode. If you do not have a multimeter then it should be checked in this method. Here I am using the supply of the Arduino. The common pin of the display should be connected to the supply through a 1K resistor and any of the other pins can be connected to ground. Now when I start the simulation it can be seen that one of the LEDs is getting turned on. So the common pin here should be common anode. Since a LED will glow only if an anode is connected to supply and one cathode is connected to ground and not vice versa. So if the common pin here had been common cathode, the LED would not have turned on. So it has to be common anode. So the display here is common anode. If it had been common cathode, then the LED would have turned on when the common pin is connected to ground and any of the other pins are connected to the supply. Now we know that the display in Tinkercad is common anode. So it should be connected in this manner that is the common pin should be connected to the supply and the other pins should be connected to port pins. That is what I have done in this design. Since the common pins are shorted I have connected one of the common pins to the supply 
through 330 ohm resistor and I have connected the other pins to digital pins. Here we can see that I have connected the pins to digital pins that is from digital pin 0 to digital pin 7, 8 pins. Since the microcontroller used in Arduino Uno is Atmeha 328P, we need to determine to which pins all these cathodes are connected to. For that we need to see the pin mapping. Here we can see that digital pin 0 is port D pin, pin 0 and digital pin 1 is port D pin 1 and so on. Digital pin 5, 6, 7 are PD5, PD6, PD7. So these pins are connected to port D pins 0 to 7. So it is connected to port D. So now we should remember that if low state is given to any of the port pins then the corresponding LED will be turned on or else it will be turned off. If high state is given it will be turned off. So now this shows the mapping of the pins with the segments. So this pin is A and this segment is A. So when this pin is given a state of low this segment will be turned on. Similarly this pin is B and this segment is B. So when this pin is given a state of low this segment will be turned on. And these two pins are the common pins which are shorted together and it is common anode in this case. And here I have mentioned to which pins in microcontroller are all these pins connected to. So PD0 is connected to G, F is connected to PD1, A is connected to PD2 and so on. So if 0 has to be displayed all the segments except G and DP should be turned on. So I have given 0 to all the pins except G and DP for which I have given 1. So if I write it in hexadecimal then I get 0x this is 8 and this is 1 so 0x81. So to display 0 port D should be given a value of 0x81 so that the corresponding states are assigned to corresponding pins and to display 1 only B and C should be turned on. So I have given 0 to only B and C and I have given 1 to all the other pins. So the hexadecimal configuration for that is 0xB7. So to display 1, port D should be given 0xB7. Similarly for 2 corresponding LEDs should be turned off or on. So again I have mentioned that when 0 is given corresponding segment will be on and when high is given corresponding segment will be off. So for 3 it is 0x92, 4 it is 0xb4 and 5 it is 0x98. The program is going to be in such a way that the numbers from 0 to 5 are displayed in loop. That is they are continuously displayed with a delay of 3 seconds in between. Now let us see the code. Here I have included the header file avr slash io dot h and here I have mentioned the crystal oscillator frequency which is 16 megahertz. Then I have included the header file for accessing the delay functions. And then in the main program I have assigned the value to ddrd which is the direction register of port d as 0xff which means I have assigned ddrd with 1111 so if I assign it with all ones then it means all the pins of port D are output pins. If I had assigned it with 0 then it would mean that a pin is input pin. So I have assigned all the pins as output pins since LED is connected to all pins. Then I have assigned the value for port D as 0xff. So it will give high to all pins of port D. That will turn all the segments off. If you are still not clear with these two statements then I'd suggest that you see my video tutorial on programming Arduino Uno using pure C. And here I have declared an array number of 6 and I have assigned it with these values which are the hexadecimal numbers to display from 0 to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And this is an infinite while loop to keep displaying the numbers from 0 to 5 in loop. 
and always remember that hexadecimal numbers are assigned to unsigned character variables and here i have used a for loop to assign these numbers in order to port d so that the corresponding leds will be turned on to display from 0 to 5 so when it when i is 0 the port d will be assigned with 0x81 so that the number displayed will be 0 and when i is 1 port d will be assigned with 0xb7 and the number that is displayed will be 2 and here i have given a delay of 3 seconds between each number being displayed so now let us see the simulation i am giving upload and run You can see that 0 is displayed and there is a delay of 3 seconds then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and again 0 will be displayed. So this will go on continuously. So if you have any doubts leave it in the comments. Thank you.